Hey there, I'm Kate and this is Monocat and today I'm going to talk about the difference between rules and reality when it comes to riding PEVs in the Netherlands. So let's get this started. For me, living in Poland right now gives me and other PVs rider very big freedom to ride our vehicle since there are some rules in place which don't make them illegal, so they are legal on bike paths for a certain speed. And also the fact that the police is mostly not concerned about PEV riders as long as they don't cause any harms. But of course it's different for each country and looking at the Netherlands for example with the amazing infrastructure and great quality bike lanes, anything except e-bikes and mopeds are strictly banned and can get impounded by the police. So me and Adam from Wrong Way, who most of you know, took the decision and went to the Netherlands to join one of the many protests that are organized by Legal Riden Point NL, which is an initiative that organizes protest rights to enable legislation, legalization and insurance for PEVs. So as with our upcoming Europe trip, we decided to join one of the protests in the Netherlands, which just happened about a week ago, and we shipped our wheels and boxes and ourselves separately on the airplane over to the Netherlands. Joining the protest and being for about a week in the Netherlands, it was for me really interesting to see how those official rules compare to the reality for PEV riders in this country. And speaking about laws and regulations, um, as most of the things, it's not very easy to find out what the exact rules and guidelines there are, since especially with PVs, it's such a new and modern topic. Some of it is not really properly described in laws. So all that what I learned in this time uh, I learned from PEV riders who are actively in the community in the Netherlands and I just wanted to share with you first of all a bit of the confusion and reality that's happening. Right now the most common rules are that if you get caught with a vehicle um, without an insurance or the wrong insurance, which can also happen since one-wheeled vehicles can't be covered by uh, insurance since, since in the Dutch law they're not considered vehicles. Um, if you caught with one of those riding, you can, will get one official warning and the second time your wheel can or scooter, whatever, can get impounded by the police and taken away and also a fine. And if this happens more often, with most of the things, you can even face jail time. And as you can already hear, it's quite a bit a confusing. Um, way of regulating things since you don't know if you can insure it or what type of insurance it is or if it's even a vehicle what you're riding so that is basically what the protest is for to just shed a light on that those vehicles exist and that people want to ride them last year was already happening a big protest not in amsterdam but in den haag which is also one of the three major cities in the netherlands um, which was joined by around 250 riders, even in the pouring rain. And this year, just five days before the planned protest ride was supposed to happen, the official people from the government decided that it would be the best to make it just a short walk through the city with no riding included, which resulted from around 150 people saying they want to participate in only around 70 showing up with or without their vehicles. The meeting point was closed to the main station in Amsterdam. As soon as all of the people were there at the exact time with the police on their bikes in place, we had a around 20 to 30 minute relaxed walk through the bike lanes, which um, didn't feel as organized as it probably was, but still, we walked away through Amsterdam for a short period of time at least, talking to some bystanders 
and fellow riders. And at the end of the protest walk, we ended up at a small central place in Amsterdam where we had just a bit more gathering up, talking to other people. We had two more speeches and we were also talking a bit to the policemen that were overseeing the protest. But overall, that was already it. And a lot of people were very sad about it since the protest was planned for quite a long while. And even people, not only like we from Poland, but also from Germany and Spain were coming to support the cause. But even though if on the protest not the most people showed up, it was quite obvious to see that there are a lot of active riders in the Netherlands and also while we were tra traveling from the airport to Den Haag, we saw a couple of scooter riders. So it is quite obvious to see that even though there are those strict rules that are also pretty well known on the internet, that the reality is a bit different when it comes to if you can actually ride your PV there. And as one of our fellow Dutch riders told me, cheers Timo, for every nine cops that shall away, there will be one watching and impounding your wheel. So as you see, as long as people usually keep to the bike paths and don't start speeding excessively or on the roads or trying to endanger other people, most of the cops usually tend to look away or at least not being bothered too much as long as you don't cause active harm. And this not only being talking, but it was also for us to be seen very true since we joined the unofficial ride a couple of hours later in the outskirts of one of the bigger cities. One of our friends was talking to the police at the protest and they were also saying that they could, especially in EUCs, see a good potential additional vehicle to what's already existing for the infrastructure in the Netherlands. With one of them saying also that he thinks all of those should be made legal since they all have kind of different purposes, they have different sorts of range and a different amount of exercise you can have on each different tool and they're all very unique in their own way. As already mentioned, some of the policemen were a bit concerned about the amount of exercise it would provide to people, that it might also make people lazy. But I doubt that quite a lot since after talking to a lot of people on the protest, most of them uh, said that well, it was their wish to use their vehicles mostly for commute, to avoid packed buses and long train rides, and which they you already wouldn't do with a bicycle. And I also think that bicycles and most of the PVs are quite different how people will use them, and if you want to ride a bicycle, you will most definitely do so. With that said, the Netherlands also, with a speed limit of course, have made e-bikes and mopeds legal, which are allowed to be on the bike lane. So that for short rides would take away this exercise aspect. But with all things, it's usually also it goes about the money. And with a lot of bikes, e-bikes and mopeds produced and designed in the Netherlands, it would also lose them a bit of money. But I don't see the biggest problem there, since I could imagine that at some point there will also be European, if not even Dutch manufacturers, if it would be legal. And most people also said that they would like to pay taxes and insurances if it would just make it for them legal and safe to ride their PEV. And especially commuting is a very big topic for most of the people that I talk to. And a friend of ours 
he was riding his wheel as a last mile, last kilometer, since we're in the Netherlands, uh, solution to work. He would either take it with him after the train or even ride the whole way from his home to his work. But sadly, just a couple of months ago, um, he got caught on just his daily commute. He one of those one out of 10 officers who stop actual people on PEVs and he got his wheel directly impounded. He luckily got it back after eight weeks, had to pay an additional fine and got told that if it would happen again, it would be gone for good. Now he takes very long bus drivers to work, it takes him a longer time. He is definitely less fun and we're riding with him. Of course, he only drives now on bike paths that are very far away from the streets especially rural areas and constantly checking his mirror, which takes a lot of fun out of the whole experience. So with that being said, there are a lot of points that speak for legalization of PVs. Of course, there are always some things to consider, like how do they have to behave, how fast are they allowed to go, where are they allowed to go, and all these types of things. But also after the protest, just a couple of days ago, I heard from one of our friends that right now the Dutch government want to sit together with an unbiased tester to see what are their specifications if you would need a sort of driver's license or some sort of motorcycle license maybe a small one in order to ride this or if you have to have a test to show that you're capable of riding this vehicle and braking with it but yeah this is already even though which is not that of a big step which says oh it's all legal now it's already going into the right direction and I'm really looking forward what it will be coming out of this since in Madrid, uh, from what I've heard, they had there a lot of protests like monthly or even sometimes often where PEV riders like unofficial protests where which is to stop um, the entire traffic for a roundabout, for example, and just drive a couple of rounds just to show that they're there and they want to be given a space. Uh, so that they know where to ride and that they can ride legally and they've been doing that for a long time now and just recently they got results they are now legal to ride in certain situations certain paths you can look that up and i think it will just take for the netherlands for example just a bit more time but they're definitely going the right direction and I can't wait what will be happening in future since this country is just so perfectly made low speed limits for cars and there are wide and amazing bike lanes. And since most of what I just said is basically me reporting what I heard from people, what they told me, their stories, what, what they experienced and how they do right there or not. Um, I learned a lot about that and I would love for you guys to share your opinions in the comments where you from and what's your experience rules and regulations versus reality how do you guys write or if you're from especially the Netherlands how is it for you and if you ever encountered police or if even your PV got impounded So thank you all so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you could learn something or got inspired um, also to look up protests in your area. <laughs> Single protests in your area. Look them up. They're great. Join them. Uh, show that you're there and that you want to make a change. 
and yeah if you like what i told you if you want me to make more of this content which i will do probably either way um just leave me a comment leave me like maybe even subscribe if you feel very fancy and see you next time Ha, ha, ha.